In this class, we will try to solve a problem on polarization. Now let us see what is given in the problem. It is given that an electric field of plane wave propagation in a lossless non-magnetic medium is given by this expression. So this is nothing but the electric field in space and time which is coming nothing but 5 cos Ax cap and 3 cos Ay cap right and we have to conclude about the polarization right. So what are the options right circular polarization, left elliptical polarization, right elliptical polarization and linear polarization right. So what I am going to do is in order to solve this I am going to write the components I am going to break the component. So let me call as Ex component which will be nothing but 5 cos 2 pi into 10 to the power 9t plus beta z Ex cap right. Ey component would be 3 cos 2 pi into 10 to the power 9t plus beta z minus pi by 2 Ay cap right. So it has two components right. So what I did is I break into two components uh, one along the x axis the variation along the x axis another along the y axis. Now I can write in a simplified form what you mean by simplified form is I will write this as 5 cos omega t Ax cap. I am going to write this as 3 cos omega t minus pi by 2 Ay cap. If you observe what I have done is nothing but I have just get rid of this beta z just I have written some equation we will understand that why I have written that ok. Now first of all if I see what is the phase difference between these two components the phase difference is pi by 2 it is 90 degree so now we are clear with that. But what is the amplitude one amplitude is 5 another amplitude is 3 we know that when the amplitude of the two components is not equal right it will be the case and the phase difference is 90 degree it is the case of an elliptical polarization right. If this was 5 and this was also 5 then it was clearly a circular polarization right. But as these amplitudes are not equal it is a case of an elliptical polarization right. So for sure it is an elliptical polarization. So it is an elliptical polarization right ok. So which elliptical polarization? Will it be a left elliptical polarization or right elliptical polarization? Now the question is among these two which is an answer right. So what I am going to do is I am going to plot this ok. So I will rub this so it is an elliptical polarization let me write it again. So this will be 5 cos omega t Ax cap and 3 cos omega t minus pi by 2 Ay cap right. So what I am going to do is I am going to put the values after substituting omega t equal to 0 omega t equal to pi by 2 and omega t equal to some pi. So what I am doing is I am gradually increasing the omega t 0 pi by 2 you can put it pi and then 2 pi and you can see, see that what will be the value. At omega t equal to 0 Ex would be what your Ex would be nothing but cos 0 is 1 so this will be 5 Ax cap. Ey would be nothing but cos 0 minus pi by 2 right. So cos minus theta is cos theta so cos 90 is nothing but 0 so this will be 0 Ay cap right. If I substitute omega t equal to pi by 2 what will happen this will become 0 right cos pi by 2 so this will become Ex will become 0 Ax cap and Ey will become pi by 2 pi by 2 equal to pi by 2 minus pi by 2 0 cos 0 is again 3 so this will be 3. Ay cap right. You can again keep on going that right we do not need it even though if you want to you can test this value ok. Even this is enough to conclude the type of polarization right. So let me see what I am going to do now. The first thing is the moment you have done this 
right the moment you have done this what you have to do is you have to mark some axis what is an axis i'm going to mark the variation is along the x and y so i have to mark the x and y axis so this is i'm saying this is x and this is y okay so randomly i mark some two x and y axis because the component which axis i mark based on the component variation right one is along the x axis another is along the y axis so i mark x and y axis now by applying the right hand rule right by applying the right hand rule right we have to find which will be the z axis right i'll take my right hand okay we know that the four finger should be pointing in the direction of x the middle finger should point in the direction of y and the thumb should point in the direction of z right so i'll do the same thing four finger in the direction of x the middle finger in the direction of y and this is a z it means what z is pointing outward right if you see z is pointing outward so my z will be outside right it's an outside okay so i have marked the x y and z axis the next thing is i have to see this when omega t equal to 0 i have and magnitude of 5 along the x axis if i mark that it let's say it is somewhere here this is 5 unit let's say it is here if i put and then what was the what was the magnitude of ey it was 0 so again this line so there is no point at omega t is equal to pi by 2 ey you have a ey component which is along the 3 unit along the plus y axis remember it is along the plus y axis let's say it is a here right again if you observe okay what else i can do is if i put simply because i though i didn't do it if i put omega t equal to pi okay for example if i put pi here what will happen cos pi is minus right so this will become ex will become minus 5 because cos pi is minus 1 so minus 5 ax cap right and ey would be what if i put pi here pi minus pi by 2 comes out to be pi by 2 ey would be 0 just gradually i'm just moving the value of omega t and plotting this so at one value after a certain time when you substitute you will have minus 5 ax which comes out to be somewhere here right so what i'm saying is as i'm gradually changing omega t from 0 pi by 2 every value you can take inter between value also you can take pi by 4 also there is no constraint can i say that i am moving like this right initially i was like this as i gradually start changing the frequency uh, omega t i am moving like this right now this is some circular movement is happening right now i have drawn this based on this now i have to conclude the type of polarization in order to conclude the type of polarization what you need to do is you have to take your right hand and left hand both okay and point the thumb in the direction of propagation and see which curl satisfy this condition okay so in this case let's say that the direction of propagation is what it is beta z so it is prop it is plus beta z remember when it is plus beta z it is propagating in which direction the wave is propagating in minus z direction right how we how we said that remember the basic equation what was the basic equation e is equal to e naught cos omega t minus beta z right ax cap so in this it is minus beta z when it is minus beta z it is propagating in plus z direction right but in this case it is plus beta z so it is nothing but this wave is propagating in minus x direction so what we can say that wave is propagating in minus x direction this is our conclusion okay so what i need to do is i have to point the thumb I, you can take both the hands and point in the direction of propagation so in this case which is the plus z plus z is outside right so plus z is outside but where is the propagation happening propagation happening is opposite of plus x right if the plus x is coming out of the board then minus x will go inside the board right agree so what we are saying is we mark some x y z coordinate axis 
based on that x and y your plus z axis is outside the board okay but your wave is propagating as per the equation it is propagating in minus x direction so i have to point the thumb in the direction of propagation so the thumb is going inside right you can see that i'll put my curl hand and i'll try to make a curl right can is this curl satisfying this condition the answer is no this curl is going like this right but this is like this so this hand or basically my right hand is not satisfying this if i take my left hand point the thumb in the direction of propagation which is inside the board right and i'll rotate my fingers what is this this curl is satisfying right now right you can see that so which is left hand so this is nothing but we already concluded it is an elliptical polarization and this is nothing but your left elliptical polarization so we have concluded this is nothing but a left elliptical polarization okay this was very important that how we concluded the polarization